Morning guys, what's up? So this is day three of the Kansas deer season. Day one and two were unsuccessful for me. Um, of course, day two, I did see two, probably two year old bucks, but they were well within their uh, ear tips. And I'm not gonna shoot a buck that small. Uh, this morning, it's in the, the low to mid 20s. Had a nice little uh, layer of frost on the ground. Beautiful out this morning. It's the coldest it's been since, well, since deer season. And uh, it's kind of nice. The first day was in the 60s. Today it's in the 20s. It's supposed to be to the 50s. And this morning, I'm having some activity. I actually have a. Well, probably about a three-year-old, maybe not even four-year-old, maybe a three-year-old eight-pointer in front of me. It seems like in this part of the state of Kansas that uh, the average deer that survives anything is a year old. Most deer are taken from the two- to three-year-old range. I haven't seen a good four- to, four to five-year-old deer even hit by a car for a long time. So there must, it must be pretty good at uh, hiding. But I have this nice little eight pointer down here. I'm gonna go ahead and take him. Works not. Well, he he did kneel down. That was a uh, Fort Scott Munitions 308 TOA or TUI. And uh, man, I have a Remington 700 that I've never had a failure to have an issue with. If you heard this little click in the beginning, look at that right there. Right? Right? Look at that. I can shoot round after round after round out of the 308 target shooting. But this 308 has issues when I'm hunting. So let's go see what we have for a deer. Alright guys, so walking down here, let's see what we're looking with. Looking with, it's cold man. <laughs> working with. Uh, oh buddy, there we go. There's a little bit of blood trail. Oh man, look at that. You can see that little bit of red there. That's a awful bright. That must be a lung shot. This he ran off here to the east. Let's see if we can see anything. I don't see anything at all. Oh, oh, oh. Nice little blood trail there. Exertion, more. Oh man. More. Did he jump the fence? So I know the owner. I know the owner on the other side. Uh, I'll call him up if I don't see him traveling some more. I don't see any blood though, nor, nor anything. You can see where they come through here all the time. Oh wait, oh, oh. Blood there. Oh, oh, oh 
Oh, buddy. He didn't jump the fence, guys. Oh, maybe he did. Shoot. There's more blood. Oh. Oh, please don't jump over here. Oh, no. There's more. He didn't jump the fence, guys. Look, there's more. He didn't jump the fence at all. Oh, yeah, a whole bunch. Where is he? Back here? Oh, blood trail. Oh, I see him, guys. Oh, no. Wow. Look at that. Let's go around here. Oh, guys. All right. Well, guys, I think this is probably a testament for me to get a camera soon. Um, it's been a while since I had a sure camera. I've been using my iPhone for everything. I actually had this little bit uh, already recorded, and the old iPhone decided to reach its peak performance at 20 degrees and shut off because it was too cold. Thanks, Apple. Anyways, um, I already recorded this, like I said, but um, while I was not uh, thoroughly impressed um, by the shot, it was a, a Fort Scott takedown. Um, it, it's way too tall out here. Um, we didn't brush hog this year and last year, so the, the undergrowth is just way too tall. And I thought I had a good broadside shot on him. Um, turned out to be that he wasn't turned quite as much as I thought he was. And uh, it went through at a diagonal. I think it broke his leg. The right leg is a little messed up, which means it's a gut shot. Um, not completely upset about it. He's a pretty good sized deer body wise. Uh, we'll see how much fat he has or doesn't have if he's went, you know, going through rut and everything. Uh, by far, not the biggest deer I've got, but definitely not the smallest deer I've ever shot. Um, you know, eight pointer. He's a he's a fairly you know good sized deer for the area. Like I was saying earlier, uh, most the, the average sized deer that's being shot around here is anywhere from two to three years old, which is pretty upsetting. The older deer aren't being shot. If they even come out, they're smart. They shoot. They must run at night. Um, but he uh, still pretty good sized deer. Um, the deer from last year that I had was definitely much larger. Uh, but I can't be completely upset about it. So, anyways, thanks for watching this video. Uh, hope you guys have a good day. And if you're out hunting in, in this beautiful weather, hope you have a successful hunt also. Anyways, keep calm and carry on, guys. See you later.